Hello friends, um, last class I explained about the pruning of uh, raft style casuarina. Now I are uh, because uh, next is the wiring. Before wiring, I, I waited for uh, nearly one month because uh, uh, I am not doing wiring immediately after the pruning. That is, uh, that, that makes the uh, uh, tree more uh, weaker. So I allowed the tree to produce more uh, small branches. Now it is uh, produced a lot of small branches. So next work is uh, uh, wiring of this uh, casuarina, that is a raft style. Because the raft style needs a different type of um, pruning and wiring. So before that, before starting wiring, I have again I have to remove all the unwanted uh, small growths that I am doing now. See, uh, now the branches are uh, completely arranged. Now we have to start the wiring. I will show you wiring one, um, uh, one by one. First, I am doing the wiring on the first tree. In this raft, there are five trees. One, two, three, four, five trees. First, I am finishing the wiring on this first tree. So, uh, in the first tree, I am doing the wiring on the first branch. I have finished this is a, I am using this uh, thick wire so I am stopping it uh, here because after this uh, the branches are very thin so I, I will use only thin branches this thick branch suitable only to the thick branches Second wire, right? When you do wiring, Sometimes you have to remove certain small things to make it more uh, convenient for wiring and arrangement of the branches. See the lower small things is not necessary here.
Now I have to use a thinner wire for the small tins. Uh, very small uh, very small branches even then it needs some wiring First branch wiring is over, so you see this is the wiring down on the first branch. Then next is we have to make it uh, the tilt the branches so that it has to be arranged in its uh, proper aesthetic way that I am going to do. It is Okay, now you can see how the branches are arranged. Uh, now you can see this. This is the way how to arrange the branches, just like our uh, fingers on the hand. Uh, this, this is uh, this one branch work is over. Similarly, I have to finish this branch, this branch, and the apex and uh, I will go for the next tree and similarly I have to wire all the trees so I will wire it because it will take another two three hours so I will do the wiring and uh, uh, show it now the wiring of uh, four trees uh, five trees uh, one two three four five five trees are over um, now next step is bending of the branches and uh, position of the branches in uh, its uh, proper places so that is i am going to do you see that is so I'll take this first branch I will try to bend it down maximum 
then I lift the small small branches upwards so that its growth will be promoted and uh, this maximum bent I have to give here this junction now the everything is in that and next branch Now the, I will bring this uh, whole branch slightly to the front. Okay. Now, now this small branch. This I am twisting it and placing it like this. And now next is apex. You see the apex. Everything is, uh, is this is the present position. Now I am changing the position. Yes. Now the branches are splitted and uh, again bend it down more and the tips are up. this this branch and this branch this branch these are all apex branches really this is the uh, top position of the apex now the problem with this is the apex is slightly um, broad, so I have to cut it short. Anyway, I will prune it like this and keep it. And uh, this branch needs uh, some more uh, bending. So, using this uh, nose player, I am bending it further. So, this bent uh, you have to do very carefully. You have to protect the joint with your thumb, otherwise, the whole branch will peel off from this point. So, you have to protect it with your thumb. Then bend it. This is the way how to bend it. Okay, this also needs some more bend. This I will bring it here. Okay, right. This is this is the apex. Apex uh, again. It will be more crowded. Now uh, it will become more crowded. And so the first the work of the first tree is over. In this way, we have to work on this uh, other trees also. That uh, so I will show you one by I will work on that and I will show you. Uh, this is the next. Uh, uh, now the wiring and the placement of the branches and the arrangement of the apex, everything is over. See, uh, only uh, drawback in this is this height and this height is almost like this is taller still it needs uh, some more height and i have to reduce the height of this tree and this is the tallest tree and then this is the next one this is the fifth tree this is a very weak tree so uh, we have to uh, improve the growth of this tree so this apex is this height this is this height and this is this height this we have to in in increase the height of this tree and uh, reduce the height of this tree so the work of this uh, casuarina raft that is a diagonal raft is over and uh, after one month i will remove all the wires and uh, before that i will feed it uh, very well giving a lot of uh, liquid manure organic liquid manure and a little inorganic also 
so that uh, the needles will be developed around uh, the tree. Then um, next step is only pinching and pruning of the needles. After one month, I will remove all the wires and uh, another one or two years, there is uh, no need for any wire. Only pruning, pinching, pruning and the maintenance of the needles. Only that. So you see the back side of this one. This is also over. This is a very typical raft um, and uh, it's a pruning, wiring, everything is different from other trees. So next I am going to show you how to prune uh, literati. There are three types of uh, literati pruning. One is uh, um, sparse pruning and another is medium and one is dense according to your uh, personal interest you can do any type of pruning. Next uh, video I will show you how to prune literati style. Thank you very much for listening um, to my diagonal raft uh, pruning and acquiring. Thank you.